defensive challenge when you have a player like Payne doing what he does best? Um, I mean, in general, we just had to keep him in front of us. I think he had some easy, easy stuff that we could have done better. But in general, I thought we did a pretty good job keeping him in front of us. Offensively, you just uh, kept looking to attack and attack and attack. Uh, was that part of just the, the game plan for you tonight? Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, first, I don't remember the last time I had such a bad first half. So just second half just came out more, a little bit more aggressive and just kept doing my thing. Speaking of that um, first rough half, um, talk about what you went into the halftime thinking and what you, Coach was just telling you to get through um, the rest of the game. I mean, not much. I mean, I just did mostly the same thing. Just now, I f now I finish. Just finish better. I mean, it was a couple fouls, but at the end of the day, you gotta get through that. Uh, it seems like uh, on the offensive end uh, during the second half, it seemed that there was more uh, efficiency going on. Was that just part of the message that the coach told you during the half? We were just missing shots the first half. Was it? it was the biggest thing. We just didn't make any of our shots, and the second half, we did a lot better. Team momentum changed during the third and fourth quarter. Talk about uh, what you guys were talking as a team um, together. Um, we've had more energy. I mean, at the end of the day, what I just said, we were making more shots. I think first half, they were making a lot, and we were missing a lot. And I think we just stepped our defense up a little bit and just made shots. Despite the win today, what need, or what can you adjust for tomorrow? Um, just coming out from the beginning is playing hard. I think um, it's the biggest thing. I mean, Shots are going to fall, sometimes not. So it just yeah, the only thing you control is your energy. You have a tough game tomorrow versus Memphis. Um, talk about uh, what you can use from this game to go into uh, tomorrow's game. Uh, same, just play hard. I mean, us coming down here, don't really know normally the next roster. So just coming in and just playing I mean, uh, you guys come out with the victory today. You guys had a strong second half. What was that halftime talk like? Uh, th uh, throughout, uh, we felt like we were playing hard enough. I mean, we just didn't make shots. They made shots. You know, we, we stuck with it. You know, we knew we can come out, and come back, and win the game. But you know, the main thing is just to try to make shots and keep playing hard. Now, d during throughout the course of the second half, it seemed like you guys, instead of taking the outside shot a little bit more, you guys started penetrating the paint a little more. Was that just something that the coach told you to adjust during the half? Um, no, no, we were just playing, man. I mean, we, we felt like, you know, there, there was no rim protection down there at times, so we wanted to exploit that, especially with that big guy fouling out. Um, you know, we wanted to try to get Isaiah more touches, and, and you know, our three-point shot would, would eventually fall. You know, we were still spraying it out for threes. Um, but, you know, we weren't really focused. We were just playing basketball at that point. And during the fourth quarter, it just seems that that momentum kept carrying on. What, what did Coach uh, tell you in between quarters that uh, provided you that extra burst of energy to just eventually pull ahead? You know, just, to, just to stay with it, man. I mean, you know, we all believed. Um, just to, to keep playing the right way um, and, and trusting each other, and good things were going to happen. Defensively, what do you think helped you guys dictate the tone tonight while defending Texas's backcourt? Um, you know, I think we boxed out a little bit better. I mean, most of their points in the first half came off of, you know, offensive rebounds. Um, so we did a better job boxing out. We did a better job of closing out the shooters in the second half. Um, you know, that was two of our main focuses, you know, from halftime. So, you know, we came out and adjusted and it worked out for the best. And how helpful did you think the ball movement was tonight? You said what? How helpful did you think the ball movement was tonight? I know we moved the ball really well. Um, I think everybody had open shots. You know, we didn't make all of them, but you know, we, we played as a team for the most part tonight, man, and it paid off for us. Coach, um, tonight it was a big win. Uh, the second half uh, outburst. Uh, what was your team's message uh, during the break? Uh, just keep doing what we're doing. You know, uh, the shots weren't falling. Uh, we were five for twenty-three from three at half. Uh, we got to the line eight times. Uh, so we were doing we were doing a good job being aggressive, getting to the rim. Uh, not settling. Uh, we just missed a couple open looks. Um, just on the defensive end, we just had to finish possessions. Uh, we gave up eight offensive rebounds or ten offensive rebounds at half. Uh, so we just had to clean that up. Uh, they finished with 19 offensive rebounds, but you know we, we just competed, got a couple 50-50 balls, and that was the difference. Uh, during the third quarter, while you guys were making that run, uh, when their big man fouled out, you guys started penetrating the paint a little bit more. Was that just part of the game plan to just to, to attack the paint and eventually find that kick out three? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we, we told all of our guys. I mean, that's what we do. We either want rim attempts or we want threes. And 
Uh, you know, with him not being there, uh, it might open up the lane a little more. Uh, but I think we did a good job attacking him. That's why he fouled out so early, because uh, our guys were so aggressive. Uh, whoever was in there didn't stop us. And uh, I thought everyone did a great job from Chris Clemens, IT, to Mike, uh, to Brandon Sampson. And uh, that's why he finished with uh, 37 free throw attempts. And ball, uh, ball movement was also another key factor. Uh, were you satisfied with the ball movement tonight, especially more during the second half? Yeah, yeah it was good. Uh, we were sharing the ball, and everyone uh, got touches, so it was good. Coach, um, speaking of Brandon Sampson, he came off each, off the bench today with 20 points. Talk about his performance and the rest of the bench's performance tonight. How many rebounds did he have? That's what, I mean, that, that tells it all. I mean, when he's rebounding the basketball, you don't have to check the box score. You know, every, everything else in the box score uh, will probably be a plus as well. Uh, that shows when he's rebounding, uh, he's in the game. The energy's there, the focus is there, the effort's there. And when he's rebounding the basketball, Brandon Sampson's one of the best players there is uh, in the G League. You have a tough game tomorrow against Memphis Hustle. Talk about uh, what you can bring from, that, from this game into uh, tomorrow's game? I'll just continue to bring the effort. Uh, we brought the effort, I thought, today for 48 minutes. Like I said, I mean, we were down nine and a half. Um, that didn't mean that we didn't bring the energy. Uh, we just brought it for 48 minutes. And sooner or later, I mean, you keep playing hard, all right, it's going to show. So, and they did. Speaking of the energy, it felt like the crowd's energy was extra, um, extra on high today. Talk about the crowd's um, performance in the game. And uh, what did you think about it? It was amazing. I mean, it was amazing. I mean, the, I told I told our staff before uh, the national anthem. So man, we have one heck of a crowd tonight. So is we always get great support. We're thankful. We're thankful for, you know, obviously we we haven't put up as many wins as, you know, last year and obviously winning the championship. But they continue to support us and we greatly appreciate it. These, Keep coming. <laughs> through these games um, with the wins. Um, can it just spark a momentum of just finishing the season off strong? Yeah, for sure. I mean, but, you know, I'm just worried about tomorrow's game. I uh, don't want to look forward. Um, before you know it, you can be on a couple-game win streak, couple-game losing streak. You just got to focus on tomorrow. So we won tonight. You know that game is behind us now. Now we got to get ready for Memphis, who's probably one of the best, not the best uh, team in the G League.